Hey everyone, I got a video showing you how to change the number of cylinders in the engine design or just change the size of the motor. Uh, in order to explain what I'm talking about, let me first show you this picture. This is a picture of a Chevrolet 350. The Chevy 350 is a 350 cubic inch, let's just say that for easy math, V8 engine. So this proper V8 engine will use as the basis for all our math. Now let's just say once again for ease of math, a 4 inch bore and a 3.48 inch stroke. Now what we have to do is we have to figure out what type of engine design we want to turn it into. We have a V8, we can turn it into let's say an inline 4. Now some people would think in order to make a 350 cubic inch inline 4, just double the bore and stroke. Well that doesn't work. So what you need to do first off the bat though is you need to think of that factor. So let's just uh, explain it easy. First you take the number of cylinders you have, 8, and you divide it by the number of cylinders you want, 4. Now you could do this with any type of engine, it would be 3 cylinder, 12 cylinder, whatever it is. But here we go. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So it would make sense that we need a, a piston, a cylinder, that's twice as big as it was originally. Well, we take that factor, 2, and we plug it into the cube root. All this ba math is based around the cube root. So we take the cube root of 2 and we get a factor which is about 1.26 when you round up. So let's multiply the bore and stroke by this new figure. And eventually what we get is a new bore and stroke, a bore of a little bit over 5 inches and a stroke about 4.38. Now in order to find displacement of an engine, it's always the same thing. You take half times the bore, now you square that, then once you've done that, you multiply it by pi, you multiply it by the stroke, and then finally you multiply it by the number of cylinders you have. Since we have a four cylinder, we're going to get an engine that, ta-da, displaces roughly about 350 cubic inches. So it worked. Now, there's also another aspect of this formula. Let's say you want to take an engine design, like a 350 cubic inch V8 engine again, and you want to take that engine and turn it into something like a 600 cubic inch V8. Well, you can do that very easily. Just take the displacement you want, divide by the displacement you have, and you get a factor. You get this factor, 1.71, okay? And now we're going to punch it, once again, right into the cube root, and we get a new factor. The new factor is almost 1.2. So we multiply the bore of 4 and the stroke of 3.48 by this new factor, and we get our new bore and stroke. We get a bore of about 4.78 inches and a stroke about 4.16. So thus, when you do all that math to figure out displacement, you end up getting a 600 cubic inch V8. So all this is just a, a little interesting fact I found around the cube root in engines. Take care.